hello guys uh, welcome back to the new video so in this video i will show you how you can make this custom block page using elementor okay so you can see that here we have a custom block page so we are not using any premium template like other youtubers we're gonna make this whole custom block page using elementor pro okay so you can see that this is a very simple block but here we are fetching all the blocks from the backend okay so here you can see that if i go to the blocks so here you can see that we have all of these blocks here okay and here we have the net scroll option so when you uh, so whenever you scroll below uh, all the blocks will appear start appearing okay so we don't have any button or anything we have the infinite scroll like modern websites have okay so you will so you can scroll below so all your blocks will appear here uh, once at a time okay so i hope you understand what we're gonna make in this video so you can see that here we have the simple block and this is a custom block page okay so let's start the video and we're gonna build this whole block page using elementor pro step by step from start okay so for making this custom block page what we need we need some blocks okay so for importing the custom so for importing the block content i am in uh, i am using a plugin so you can use this plugin wp dummy content generator okay so for that you can use this plugin and after that you can go to the post here you can see that we have the all post option so in the post we don't have any post okay so we have to import so we have so we can uh, so we can uh, use this plugin for importing so you can go to the option this generate post and here you can import uh, what type of blocks you want suppose i want to import 20 blocks also this you have to check this option if you want to import the featured image also so okay so click option this and you have you want to include the post here okay so let's click on the generate post so it will import you blocks here so let's wait for some time and it will import some custom blocks means some blocks so if i go to the post option and see all posts so you can see that here we have all the dummy blocks okay so i think these are 20 items so here we have the 20 items okay so let's check that uh, we have the featured image or not so we have checked the featured image i think okay so you can see that we have the feature image also okay so in this way we can import these type of blocks okay so now what we can do uh, now let's uh, now let's go to this option where we have to make the custom block page okay so for that we have to use this template option we let's go to the theme builder okay so let's go to the theme builder first and in the theme builder we have to go to the loop item and here we have to first make the loop item okay so the loop item are those where uh, which will appear in the block page as a grid okay so for that we have to make a first container so let's add a container here okay so let's name this container box main box okay so we can name this container box main and here let's make this full width here we can add some uh, this uh, like padding and all okay then after that we can add an image here so let's add an image so this will the so this is the feature image now we have to choose this dynamic text option and from here we can choose the featured image okay so it will load the featured image here like this but we have to choose the custom and here we can set some custom uh, with like 250 and we can click on this apply so you can see that we have this and now we can go to this width option and we can increase its full width okay now you can see that we have this box main option and here we have to choose some random colors so let's choose this random color here also you can see that here we have the border so let's choose this 20 okay so now we have to choose this image also we can put some border radius here also let's fill the 20 okay so you can play with the design i am just demonstrating how to make the custom block page. so now this uh, suppose this we have our heading so first we have to make the loop item okay so you have to follow the step by step how i'm making this so let's make this this color okay now we can go to this dynamic text again and here we have to choose the post title okay so this is the post title okay so we have the post title here now we can add a, now we can add a small para uh, for the small para we can use the expert here expert so i think we have the expert or not i don't know if we don't have the expert so we don't want to add here okay so let me remove that because we don't have the expert okay what are the expert if you go to this option so okay okay let me refresh this once 
okay now we can open this okay so here you can see that this is the expert here you can see that we are the expert so expert is the short version of this para okay so you can add this according to you just you have to add this some para here okay short version of this expert okay so here i am not using the expert right now but you can add if you want okay just to leave it okay so let's add a button here and this button will say read more and here we can go to this library and here we can choose a arrow option so let's add a arrow okay we can make this end now here you can see that we have the link option so go to the this option again and here you can choose a post url by going to the dynamic text so here we can choose the post url now here let's make some colors so let's add this uh, red color okay and here we can make this white and here we can make this complete black and here we can make this white here also we can make this 10 okay and here we can make this uh, 20 and this is also 20 uh, let's make this 12 let's make this 12 also. okay so this is looking good i hope you understand now we can add some shrink animation here so this uh, we have the shrink animation okay so this blog is ready now let's publish okay now we can also name this so let's name this here blog loop let's publish okay now what we have to do we have to go to let's remove this now let's go to the pages okay all pages and here we have to add a block page so let's add a page for the block blocks we can name this blocks okay let's do the elementor full width and let's publish it now we can get back here you can see we have the setting option go to the reading option and here you can see we have this uh, post page and choose this so go to the post option and here choose the page we have made blocks so all the blocks will be come here okay now we have to go to the templates and go to the theme builder again now we have to make the archive page so archive page are the block pages okay let's go to the archive and here we have to add a new archive okay so let's wait for it archive so we are using the elementor pro theme builder so this is very very strong and powerful theme builder okay so you can make your full blog website by using this theme builder so here we can we don't want to uh, so right now we don't have the header and all so we don't want to show so let's choose this here page layout elementor canvas okay and here we can add this uh, and here we can add this uh, box main and this will say 1300 okay and here we can make this black here we can make this uh, so let's go here and here we can give some height 300 and here you can name your block custom block page custom block page using elementor pro okay now we can make this complete white and let's increase the size of this okay let's increase the size of this to 40 okay this is looking good now we can add a new container okay and here also this is the grids and this will say 1300 and here also we can have the 80 and this is the 80 again okay now we can choose here loop so you can search for the loop grid option and just drag and drop so now we have to search for block and here you will see this option block template so it will automatically fetches all the blocks you can see but right now we are only fetching the six blocks because we have here so let's make this uh, 100 and here we can set the equal height so it will have equal height all of this okay and also if you go to the query here you don't want here you can include and exclude if you don't want to show any block here you can include and exclude okay and here you can see we have the pagination option so right now we can use the pagination infinite scroll okay also you can choose the load on click so you can choose the load on click so how many blog posts you want to so for that you have to show like we have, we want to show six blocks only at a time so when you click on this load more so it will show the next six blocks okay so like that it will work i think so let's try uh, so here you can see load on click okay 
here we want to show custom message you can show custom message also when in, uh, when there is no blocks and all so let's try this so here we can choose the post archives save and close so let's try this button first uh, let's try this button i uh, i always use infinite scroll but uh, let's try this button also if this will not uh, work accordingly then we can so right now we are using this load and click spinner and here we have the icon button and id okay so let's try this now let's go to the pages of pages option and here we have to just click on this view and let's open this so now you can see that we have the blocks here and these uh, blocks are loading here so here you can see that all these things here we have all the all, uh, here we have all of the blocks okay so you can see we have the custom blocks and this is fetching all this from the backend okay and uh, load and click uh, here i think we have to give this let's give this six here okay now let's publish now let's try to refresh again and now you can see that we have this six now let's click on this load more and it will load the next six okay so in this way it will load the six and six so i think this the load and click option load more option and inference scroll option is better to use so i prefer this so you can see that in this way we can make this type of custom blocks so we are fetching these details from the backend okay so i hope you understand how you can make this type of things okay here also you can see we have the post url so when we click on this read more option it will go to the single block page so right now we don't have the single block page design right uh, that's why it is coming like that okay so in the next video i will make the single block page also so i hope you understand how you can make this type of custom block page using the elementor pro also you can uh, make this load more button uh, load more button looking nice so for that you can just go here you can just go to this here you will find some options i think here you can see we have the layout paginations okay so in the pagination you can see here we have all of this option so here we can make this red like uh, here we can change its colors let's make this black okay so this is looking good and on hover let's make this complete red and this would be white and let's make this shrink animation also so now let's try okay so let's try this button final time and now let's try this so you can see that this is also working shrink and this is also working if i click on the load more you can see we have all of these custom blocks okay so in this way you can make the custom block page using the elementor pro i hope you like this type of videos if you are new to our channel like and share our videos with your friends subscribe to our channel and i'm gonna see you next time